Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Rabbisrahli, sadari wa yasirli, amri wa ahlun uqdatam milisani yafahu kawali. Assalamualaikum, brothers and sisters in Islam. InsyaAllah, from today, every Friday, insyaAllah, we will embark on reading Surah Yusuf. That's Surah number 12 in the Holy Quran. InsyaAllah. For the purpose of this reading, insyaAllah, I will use the following references. First is the Prophet Joseph in the Quran, the Bible and History by Luar Fatohi. And then we also we refer to uh, the quite new book from uh, Sheikh Yasir Qadi, the lesson, uh, Lessons from Surah Yusuf, in which he also referred to quite a number of classical tafsir. Yeah? Uh, for example, Al Muharral Al Waziz of Ibn Atiyah. Zad al Masir of Ibn al Jauzi, Tafsir Ibn Kasir, Atahir Wal Tamir of Ibn Ashur, and of course the encyclopedic work of Imam At Tabari. Uh, we will also refer to uh, from time to time to this uh, study Quran, study Quran, insyaAllah. All right, I'm about to let's begin, insyaAllah. In this first session, insyaAllah, we will cover the circumstances of the revelation and the, the opening verses of Surah Yusuf. Yeah, the story itself, which start from ayah number four, we will cover inshallah from next week onward. Circumstances of the revelation. So Surah Yusuf was revealed in the, uh, around the third or second year before Hijrah, which is also known as a period of year of sadness. Yeah, why is it the case? Uh, because uh, during that period, uh, firstly, uh, Siti Hadijah the wife of the Rasulullah SAW passed away. So she is the one who supported uh, Rasulullah SAW from the beginning of the history salah. Yeah? And then within six weeks, uh, his uncle who provided him protection from the Quraysh, yeah? uh, in, in, in those days, protection is like the password. Yeah? It's like the citizenship of the Quraysh. Yeah? So uh, no one will harm Rasulullah SAW physically. Yeah, uh, because of this protection from Abu Talib. So Abu Talib passed away around six weeks after Siti Hadijah. Then with that, then Rasulullah Rasulullah Sallam, sorry, uh, don't have he does he, de he doesn't have the he doesn't have protection anymore. So he need to find uh, uh, protection somewhere else from uh, from the Quraysh. Yeah, so he need he looks for it uh, in the in the neighboring city Taif. So he lived in uh, Makkah. Uh, Abu Talib protected him, but then he passed away. He passed away, so no one protected him. So he need to leave. So he seek he sought protection to the city of Taif. Yeah, but then as if things couldn't get worse, uh, the people of Taif rejected him. Worse than that, he uh, they actually uh, humiliated him and threw stone. To him, yeah, until his blessed feet uh, bleed, did it, yeah. So that was the lowest point, yeah. Uh, from the riwayah Siti Aisha radhiyallahu anha, uh, one of the wives of the Prophet asked Rasulullah sallam, uh, yeah, Rasulullah sallam, what is the worst day uh, uh, other than Uhud? Yeah. So Siti Aisha was so young in Mecca, so he, she didn't know anything in in Mecca, yeah, but she knows. Uh, but there's you know Uhud and others. So Uhud was very tough. So she asked Rasulullah Sallam, what's the worst uh, day or the hardest day compared to Uhud? Yeah? Uh, Rasulullah Sallam, uh, without any hesitation, said Taif. Yeah? That's the lowest point of his life. Now, learning the circumstances of the revelation help us to understand uh, this surah better, the learning from this surah better. So it was the lowest point of his life, not only for the Rasulullah, but also to the uh, to the Sahabah, yeah, to the companions. Yeah. Then Allah revealed this surah to comfort them, to comfort Rasulullah Sallam, and to comfort the Sahabah, the companion, Rodiyallahu Anhu, Rodiyallahu Alaihim. Brother and sister in Islam, uh, in terms of the Asbab Bunuzu, it was also uh, reported in riwayah that the, the Quraysh asked the Jewish people in Medina. At that time, it was called Yathrib. So there was no Jew, there was no 
Christian uh, center in Medi in Mecca. Yeah, so only few. Uh, one of them is the Christian, for example, Warakal Ben Nawfal. Yeah, the the cousin of the uh, city Hadijah. But by and large, there is no center of uh, or people of Jew or Christian in Mecca. Yeah, only few people in the outskirts of the city. Yeah, uh, so with that. The, the history of uh, the story of Bani Israel not known to people of Mecca. So people of Mecca, in this case, the Quraysh, as the people of uh, uh, Yathrib, in this case, the Jews of Yathrib, Yathrib uh, tell us one story that you know, uh, but we don't know, to prove that he is a real prophet. So uh, this Bani Israel, the Jews of Medina, uh, said that. Uh, Ask them, ask him about the story of Yusuf, the prophet Yusuf, because uh, the the, the Quraysh, they, they they didn't come from the lineage of the prophet Yusuf, yeah, they, they didn't come from the lineage of Ishaq, they come they came from the lineage of Is, uh, Ismail, alayhi salam, yeah. So, so this is one of the uh, uh, Nuzul, yeah, and Allah revealed this surah. It's, which is quite unique because the story of the prophets, particularly the Bani Israel prophet, yeah, usually appear in multiple surah, piece by piece. Yeah, uh, in, of course, in there is no repetition in Quran in different dimension, but in Surah Yusuf, uh, the story of Yusuf is only in this surah. Of course, Yusuf, uh, Prophet Yusuf was mentioned in other surah, I think a couple of times, but the story of Yusuf only in this surah. And uh, relative to other uh, story in the Quran, uh, this is quite uh, chronological. Yeah, when he was young, when he was in Egypt, and when he was adult. Yeah, so it's quite chronological. So it's quite unique in that sense. So uh, that's more or less the uh, the circumstances and the uh, nuzul of the of Surah Yusuf. Why we need to do this, as we mentioned uh, earlier, that. Learning the, the circumstances of the revelation help us to understand the, the meaning of this surah because we understand the context, inshallah. All right, let's read it, inshallah, together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillah, 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 Tilka ayatul kitabil mubin Inna anzalnahu qur'anan arabiyyan la'allakum ta'qilun Nahnu naqussu alayka ahsana al-qasasi bima awhayna ilayka hadha al-qur'an بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين صدق الله العظيم. Uh, just like the surah that we read before, surah Yasin, this surah also started with huruf muqattaat, yeah, the broken letter. Uh, or disjointed letter, or separated letter. There are many you know, translation in English, but actually is this alif lam ra. Yeah, and no one uh, understand uh, what the what the what their meaning are. Yeah, there are quite a number of surah. There are twenty nine surah started with this huruf uh, But of course, some ulama try to interpret it, but no one can be sure about that. Yeah, but this huruf mukatoat is a proof. Yeah, uh, the kures are very eloquent yeah at the time uh, they are very eloquent poet they are very they are good poets and there are a lot of poetry uh, before islam pre-islamic poetry and they are very good yeah uh, from from the language perspective now uh, sometimes some people said that uh, for example uh, some poets know something is not poet because they are poet yeah so like this they know that this is not poetry because they never seen like something like this before. Yeah, but because of their ulterior motive, they didn't non, I mean, most of them don't say it to the courage that, you know, this is not poetry. Yeah, 
this is a proof. Uh, this uh, the, until then, no no one ever use this kind of uh, it uh, alif lam ro alif lam mim kof ya kof ha ya sin so yeah uh, and so on and so forth yeah. Uh, no one use something like this. So this is uh, one of the uh, miracle of the Quran. And then tilka, tilka is this, but something that is in distant. Yeah. Uh, so tilka is like darika in Surah Al-Baqarah. Yeah. But tilka is for female. Yeah. Uh, feminine. Yeah. Ayat is feminine. So that's why it start with tilka. Tilka ayat til kita bil mubin. Yeah. So the Quran. Why is it tilka? Like uh, because tilka usually used when it's in distance. It's, uh, the ulama interpreted it as the Quran status. The status is so high, yeah, that we use tilka, not like hadhi, not like that. Yeah, tilka because the status of the Quran is so high, so noble that we respect it and uh, refer to it as tilka. Okay. Um, Kitabul Mubin, yeah, the clear book, yeah. So the clear book. What does it mean by clear? Clear. This mean that anyone, yeah, with the sincere heart to understand the Quran, will get the understanding from Quran from the Quran. Now, of course, everybody is different. Some are ulama; they need more detail, and they are very trained. Uh, they get more understanding from the Quran. But some people, even though they are not trained, only just basic Arabic or just basic Islamic study, they can get something from here. For example, the ayat that uh, that alcohol is prohibited is clear. It's as clear as, as day. Yeah. Uh, everyone read it will understand. Yeah. It cannot be denied. Yeah. Uh, the ayat of the prohibition of uh, pot is very clear. Prohibition of riba is very clear, yeah. So all of these things that is necessarily known for Muslim is clear. Of course, if you want to know more, if you want to understand more, you need to study more. But at the basic level, uh, everyone will get it. Yeah, that's why it's called kitabun mubin. Yeah, of course, different level, and more trained people will get more from this Quran as well. Inna anjalna, so anjalna here, as opposed to nazala, uh, refer to the one shot of uh, 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 sending down of the Quran. Yeah, just like inna anjalna hu filailatil qadr. Yeah, so this is the first uh, one of uh, sending down of the Quran from Allah to uh, uh, to the uh, sama dunya. Yeah, through Jibril. Yeah, uh, of course, then Jibril. Uh, nazala, yeah, use the word nazala, uh, refill it uh, or uh, to the holy prophet, uh, piece by piece, yeah, uh, in 23 years. So, inna anzalna hu Quran. Now, this is uh, interesting, yeah, there are some people uh, ask why in the first ayah say kitab, but here Quran, yeah. So, the the some ulama refer to that is as uh, kitab. Is a general book, yeah. Kitab is read, written, yeah. General, yeah. Books, all the revelation that already uh, from Allah, the general book, yeah. Uh, so that's that's what ulama interpreted. Yeah, that's why it's called kitab, yeah. But here, Quran and Arabia is specific, yeah, which is the Quran. Especially the the next word is Arabia, Quran and Arabia, yeah. yeah so. Uh, the, so uh, the first ayah, tilka ayatul kitabul mubin, yeah. This books in Anjana, we reveal to you this Quran and Arabic, Arabic Quran, just this Quran to you, right? In Anjana, Quran and Arabia la alaku takilun, so that you understand, yeah. So, so that's the what ulama, what for some of the ulama, some of the mufasir interpret it. Arabian la alakum, so that you understand. So Allah want us to understand this. So that's why it's given in uh, language of the human, language of human, in this case, Arabic. Yeah, we don't have uh, time, but maybe throughout the reading of this, uh, we can see some of the word 
magic word of uh, miracle word of Arabic. Yeah. Then uh, the next ayah, inshallah, the last ayah uh, for this uh, uh, or this session. Nahnu nakusu alaika. We, the royal we, or some of uh, our uh, Ibn Tamiya uh, mentioned that when Allah say we, mean He, Azza wa Jalla, and the angels. Yeah. Nahnu nakusu. Actually, this is one of the miracle of the uh, word of Arabic. Nakusu. The nakusu is uh, we. Uh, uh, tell you the story, yeah, nakusu, yeah, the, the, the original word is kisah, kisah, alaika asana kosas, kosas here, uh, stories, yeah, in English is translated as stories, in fact, uh, stories also in the Quran, yeah, uh, there is a word in the Quran, asatir, yeah, fable, that's story, but kisah is different, it's, this is the one of the miracle of the Quran, the fate of Arabic, yeah, uh, rather, uh, the the completeness of Arabic because nakusu and kisa and alkosos yeah which is stories translated into English start to come from the word kisa and kisa mean to follow the footstep yeah so that's why when when uh, when the uh, the the recompense of the revelation Rasulullah so said and then the, the and then the uh, the the companion were tried all reveal this story. Because with this story, when you tell someone story, right, you bring them, of course, if it's a good story, you, you bring them to the story. And they feel like they are in the story. So they are inside the story. They feel that they are inside the story. So that's why uh, there are so many stories in the Quran. There are so many kisa, and, and the Arabic word is kisa, to follow the footstep. To follow the footstep of the story. To follow the story. As if we are in the story itself, yeah. And this is better than saying "be patient." There are, there are ayah in the Quran say "be patient," of course. But you know, when 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 time is so hard, like uh, like the year of sadness for the Rasulullah and the Sahaba, telling the story comfort them more than just say "be patient." You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, okay, let's let's nahnu nakus we. Uh, Relate to you, Alaika, Ahsana Kosos, the best of stories. Some, um, uh, some ulama also say this, uh, refer to the stories, the whole stories in the Quran, not only the story of Prophet Yusuf, yeah? all stories. But some, of course, also say that this is the best story uh, because it's so chronological and so on and so forth, right? But some other ulama say, no, uh, it's also referred to all story, yeah? Alaika ahsana kosas bima auhaina in what we uh, reveal auhaina we reveal ilaika uh, to you has a Quran Quran so this is already in conversation with Rasulullah Sallam this why it's talk about Quran the language as we've inshallah found out in this uh, Surah Yusuf of the Quran is very precise yeah has a Quran Wa in kunta min qabli, and before this, you, the minal gafilin, you don't know. And this is the context of the revelation that we talked about earlier. Uh, the Quraysh, they are not people of the book. Yeah, they are not people of the book. Uh, they, they are idol worshiper. So uh, they, uh, I mean, some of them, uh, by not idol worshiper, of course, they are some that not idol worshiper, yeah. Uh, uh, Rasulullah SAW, since the beginning, the father of Rasulullah SAW, the grandfather of Rasulullah SAW, Abu Bakar, they are not idol worshiper, yeah. But by and, just, by and large, as a community, they are idol worshiper, yeah. So they don't know before that, yeah. But this is also showing that it's not Rasulullah SAW who write this Quran, yeah. Because it says this. Before this, you don't know. And indeed, uh, Rasulullah didn't know about the story of Prophet Yosef. Yeah? And he answered the question from the Quraysh after this revelation. So this is actually for anyone who is sincerely want to know about Islam, about Quran. There's so many ayah, so many signs in the Quran. Alif, Lam, Ra. Yeah? This is not written by Rasulullah SAW. No one has done, no one has written something like this before. 
Yeah, this is not poetry. They can see it. Yeah, an expert can see it. Yeah. Uh, so anybody, an expert who is sincerely want to know about Islam, will find it that this is the original. This is from Allah. This is not written by Rasulullah SAW. Barakalafikum, aku dikali haza, wastafiru, inna kahuwa gafuru rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.